it's just one of those days. Things just aren't going my way. So here's the situation. I made that video yesterday. Mowing with this John Deere a little bit. And I was informed I needed new bearings for the deck. Which is fine. I can replace them. But the problem is... Okay. And I've already got the spindle out on the one. The problem is... And, I, and they are. It is. The one is shot. You can see the ball bearings inside of there. Thing's shot. So it definitely needs... It, that bearing seized. Definitely needs bearings, right? Well, here's the thing. This blade is stuck onto this spindle because this bolt is all rotted out and rounded off. So I can't get this off of here because there's a bearing inside of here that's no good. And I really don't want to let this thing get the best of me. I want to be able to replace these bearings so this thing works properly because, all right, here's the thing. It already runs, drives, and cuts. It just needs bearings and some minor things. I could tear it apart, all right, if I do that, you're talking about maybe a $350 engine. The transaxle's worth, let's say, 150 bucks. That puts us at 500. I would say maybe 100 dollars in rims and tires. That's 500. Right now, that's 600. It's got an electric PTO. Those things are worth about 100 bucks. That puts us at about 700. It has a good hood. That's about 100 dollars, probably. Eight. Miscellaneous, that front axle, maybe 50 bucks. Uh, 8.50. Seat's no good, so you can't sell that. The deck, <laughs> I mean, I could sell it as a deck in need of bearings for like 100 bucks, maybe. What's that at now? Nine? Okay. All right. And then um, miscellaneous stuff. So we'll just we'll just call it 900 in parts for this. If I tear this machine down, if I fix it, it's a 1,500 dollar machine, and it really doesn't need that much. But I have to be able to get this thing off so I can at least replace these bearings, and that one's stuck on. So what am I gonna do? I guess I could. Uh, you know grind this bolt a little bit and get a smaller socket on here and get this thing to turn I have to be able to get this off in order to do anything And this is only one the other one needs to be done too. two of them are bad This one's bad too This one's okay on the bottom, but the top bearing is bad on this one So this one's got to come out too and I just don't like the design of any of these because they're all rounded off because they're under here where the bolts get rounded off. So I think this is a bad design, the way this is set up where these bolts hold this blade to this spindle base. On other model machines like the Craftsman, you got one bolt that goes through the center and holds it on and those don't ever have this problem. So here's what I know, and I've heard this said before too. The John Deere's are overpriced because of the name and it's true because this thing's got a ton of problems it's going to be about $150 for the bearings okay uh, I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do yet I don't know if I'm just going to end up tearing it down I really don't want to but I've got to at least be able to get these things free first before I can proceed any further so that's what we've got to figure out. Uh, any suggestions on what I should do? Please feel free to comment. At the moment, I'm kind of at a dilemma. I'm at a crossroads at what I should do with this thing. Which is a shame. 
Alright guys, let me know. Later.